Alright, and we are back. Let's see, what do we need to create a sea glide? Oh, now we also get the mineral detector. That might come in handy. I'm gonna pin that as well. But first of all, the sea glide, please. Battery, lubricant, copper wire. I think we can make all these things. Right, we can make definitely the copper wire. Lubricant I already have. If I remember correctly, did I make one? Ah, man, I didn't make one. We need to go get some lubricant, I guess. What else do we need? A battery. We can make that one right away. All right, so let me quickly go get some lubricant. And by the magic of editing, I now have that one as well. Excellent. So let's go ahead and craft it right away. Hold on. Oh, we can craft tools as well. Oh, man, no, I don't have enough copper for that. All right, let's prioritize the sea glide. Obviously, the most important thing. The sea glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built-in light and map. Alright, so what this essentially means, let me quickly showcase it to you. We can bind it to, I'm gonna bind it to this key. You can put it out. Obviously, it makes you go faster. That is like the main thing. It has a light source, so you do not need a flashlight anymore. And, which is gonna be, what is gonna be even more important later on in the game, it has a map. Like right now, I'm activating it. You can kind of see the 3D dimensions of what the zone looks like. You might think, eh, this is kind of a gimmick. Who cares about this? But when you are in a twisty cave and you have lost all orientation, this is kind of the only thing. Like, like see, there is a hole right there on the left side. There, there might be valuable things in there. And this, uh, this function of the sea glide will actually come very in handy at some points. I remember from the first game. Right now, I think now I have enough to make a mineral detector. Let's see, do I actually have I need? What do I need? I only need some copper. Oh, and actually also already have copper wire itself. So now we can create this mineral thing. All right, so what this does, mineral uh, proximity detector used to locate materials, fragments, and other items with identifiable signatures. In essence, any kind of metal you can think of. The mineral detector can sniff out raw materials, potentially saving you hundreds of hours of searching. Well, I wouldn't say hundreds of hours, but okay. <laughs> She's kind of overplaying the fact there. In any case, I can put that out and you can see I can switch between things. Gold, limestone chunks, whatever. I can set this to uh, search, for example, for uh, what do we need? We need silver. I could set it to uh, search for silver maybe now. All right, we got a silver there. Excellent. Can I get one more, please? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yes, and we got the second silver as well. Now, two silver is what's needed to create that... Uh, that thing. I don't know what it's called, that electronics thing. So we can go back and make now my very first compass. Proud moments. I didn't use the compass a lot in the first game. That was kind of my mistake. It is very, very useful. I kept relying on the coordinates, which is obviously a superior thing to do, but in the nick of time, if you want to like quickly judge a direction, the compass is really invaluable. All right now, with two of these things, I can make a wiring kit. That is what it's called. <laughs> and I think I already have the copper thing no but i do have two coppers man my last two coppers see i keep telling you coppers most valuable resource in the in the game <laughs> diamonds are easier to find than copper damn it all right now make me a compass there it is and the compass is gonna be instantly integrated up here you're gonna see like now all of a sudden we get to, to see the direction and if you want to see where the compass actually went you open your inventory, you have like two upgrade kind of slots here. One of them is going to be the compass. I don't know what else you can get, to be honest, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get something nifty. In any case, now, I think it's time to set some new goals. But this is one of those instances where the game doesn't actually give you a goal to do. Like, we don't have any beacons given to us by the game, so I'm just going to go out and explore a bit. See what we can find. Let's pick a direction now that we have compass. 
I'm gonna go north first. Let's go north and see what we find. Oh, nice. We are finding gold. Actually, gold is not supposed to be spawning this high up. But if you, go, if you catch a vein, like we did here... Yeah, you can find things prematurely, I guess, somewhat. Alright, so now we do have a lot of materials, though. So I'm gonna need to start making some lockers. I don't think I have any more room. Yeah, we are full here. So I'm gonna need to start to make some rudimentary lockers. Like deployables. What proof locker? Made of four titanium. Man, that is costly. Four titanium? That is interesting. Because I know, like, the standard lockers, the inside lockers, cost only two titanium. So Jesus Christ, that is a... <laughs> that is a costly thing. Let's make one more. Let's make two lockers. Excellent, and these are obviously deployable outside. Oh, you can name them now. Interesting. All right, let's deploy both of them. We're gonna start putting some stuff and naming them. Like at this point, we are gathering mostly whatever. <laughs> All right, and with whatever out of the way, let's, uh, I guess let's pick a new exploration destination. The game hasn't given me any objective. We went a bit north, let's go a bit south, I guess. Oh, and we see new sections now appearing. I think those are called the twisty bridges because, well, they have bridges that are twisty, <laughs> I guess. Self-explanatory. This Subnautica game, the second one, is very dense. Oh. Hello. We get a signal. Sounds like Morse code SOS. Yes, even I know that. that. Sounds like a distress call. Transmission of unknown origin. Source of transmission depth calculated at approximately 200 meters. Yeah, I'm not going 200 meters, man. <laughs> I don't have that capacity yet. Or maybe we should try? I mean, I see something directly below. Oh, and I see some sharks there as well. Hold on. Oh man, there's sharks all over the place. There's sharks right next to the thing. Are you kidding me? Can you please go away, Mr. Shark? I'm gonna try. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Now, what do we get? What is this? High capacity tank, yes! New blueprint synthesized. What is in here? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Builder! Yes, I need that. Oh man, there's a shark right outside. Hold on. Ah, uh, go! Go, go! Oh, and the solar panel. Did they get the builder, actually? That tool that we got... Man, we got a lot of blueprints. Oxygen. The builder tool is used obviously to uh, manufacture bases and whatnot, and that kind of unlocks the entire game. You can be very creative once you get that tool. Alright, so let's actually go and make that high capacity oxygen tank. I'm hoping there is no. Oh, and we get a distress call. Interesting. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out here calling for help? Didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. Ah, yes, the architects. Now, that is going to be the actual main story of the game. I'm not gonna spoil too much. You'll find out when the time is due. For now, let's see, can I make that high-capacity oxygen tank? Where is that? What do we need for that? We need... Uh, we actually have everything we need. Hold on. Don't I have... I think I have them outside. We need some precious metals here. No, not titanium. The whatevers, yes, that is the one that I'm looking for. One whatever, please. <laughs> Alright, so, one silver. 
Then we needed glass, which means two quartzes. Two quartzes make one glass. Then we need four titaniums. Nice. Why not? I got two here and plenty more outside. Where is my non-whatever container? There you are. Give me two more. And finally, we need obviously the old oxygen tank, so you have to go into the menu and remove that manually. Now we have... Oh, I need two glass. Hold on. Hold on. We need more. Ah, man. I'm sorry. I'm making you kind of dizzy. I thought I only needed one glass. Where is my quartz? There it is. Give me one more. Now we're gonna have two glass very soon. And you can see this lighting up green, which means, yes, we are ready. Give me a better oxygen tank, please. I think this is the, uh, not the final upgrade. I think there is one more upgrade, like ultra high capacity or something like that, which is probably gonna require some exotic materials to make. But for now, this gives me 90 seconds plus the 30 that I get. So uh, 120, I think. Once the meter shows up. 132, nice, excellent. All right, in any case, uh, let's go exploring south, I guess, a bit. I didn't get to explore too much because I keep finding interesting materials and whatnot. And maybe let's go back to the same place that we went, where the SOS signal originated, and we'll go down 200 meters. Maybe we'll find, well, who the one who sent that SOS signal, I guess. Warning, passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Yes, which means we have to rely on these plants to replenish some oxygen. Oh, a fragment, what is that of? Sea truck, yes. Yes, give me that. Definitely need that. Uh, let's keep going for a bit. Can I find more sea truck fragments, please? Some more oxygen. Is that another sea truck fragment, please? Yes. How many do I need? I think I need one more. Oh man, give me one more. I would really love to have a sea truck this early in the game. They are usually very close by. What is this? Oh, a laser cutter. Yes. Man, we're finding all kinds of things here. Kind of figures. What is that over there? Oh, that's, that's gonna be the final fragment. Yes. Yes, now we're gonna unlock the sea truck recipe. All right, so by the way, I celebrated a bit prematurely. I mean, we have the blueprint for the sea truck, but I need the blueprint for the mobile vehicle bay. You see, the the sea truck needs to spawn out of something, right? <laughs> so we need the vehicle bay in order to create the sea truck. So no matter how many of those fragments I find, yeah, we're not there yet, folks. I'm sorry. Maybe this is. No, this looks like a sea truck again. Ah, damn it! Now we really need to find some mobile vehicle bay fragments. All Terra beacon signature detected. Unique identifier. Delta Station dock. Oh, really? This is the place Lil mentioned in her message. All right, I'm gonna do a quick resource gathering round. Go back, and then we'll go visit that Delta Station. Sounds like we are just about starting to find the interesting things. Warning. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. What is this? A damn ugly thing followed me into the shallows. Didn't think something that big would follow me up here. Had a jettison the sea truck. Again. I guess I could try to go back for the parts when it leaves. If it leaves. I really don't want to sit in another meeting with Emmanuel. Manu, as he likes to be called. 
Ugh, I just want to drive around and deliver cargo in peace. Ah, yes, a simple man is Fred. Probably not the same for Manuel. I guess we'll find out more as we go about these two. Oh, and by the way, hold on, I think we have enough to make the base builder tool. Do we? I mean, I think I collect some corals along the way. You see, we need to manufacture a ship. I think that needs corals. Yes. Do I have? I think I have copper, gold, and coral. Right. I need to get some gold and some corals. Man, I have too many water lockers. This is a mess. It is really high time we build a base. <laughs> Alright, one gold, two corals. That should make us one very beautiful computer chip. No? Oh, we need the copper wire first, yes, of course. That is the same thing as the first Subnautica game. I should remember that. And now we need this, which requires two silvers. Uh, so more precious metals coming up. And finally, we are ready. One of the most important tools, the Habitat Builder, I guess, not the Base Builder. I'm gonna keep calling it a Habitat. Emergency shelter blueprints to your data bank. Yes. I'm gonna keep With calling this. Tool, you can construct sea bases from raw Yes, I know. Please, can I address my, my, my viewers a bit? Thank you. Materials. <laughs> Advising against exploring a frozen water continent without a base. No bed, no storage, no place to put a fabricator module. No fun. <laughs> there is something inherently funny when you hear a robot say the word fun. I don't know. <laughs> In any case, now we're going to need a whole lot of titanium. And I'm guessing some quartz. Where is my quartz? I'm going to need my quartz now. Quartz builds uh, windows and things like that. I remember this from the first game. So let's see, what can we build to start things off? We get, wow, a lot of uh, recipes. Mostly building compartments and hatches and whatnot. Means to power, solar panel, I'm gonna build that. Some interior pieces like a bioreactor, maybe that's a bit too soon for that. We'll see. Or maybe not. Some interior modules, mostly the wall locker. Oh, and a battery charger. Yes, I wanna do that right away. And what else? And a sign. Yes, of course, because why not? Alright, where are we building my first base? Let's pick a nice little spot. I'm gonna do it... Ah, let's say I'm gonna do it right here, maybe. Very close to the uh, to the to the sea level. Now we need a way to enter this, obviously. So we're gonna have to build a hatch. This is why I took the quartz. Ah, uh, let's put the door. I don't know. Let's put it there. Now we can enter it. The problem being. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. Exactly. This is not power, so we don't have any oxygen yet. So let's build some power, I guess. I'm gonna do one of these solar panels, which requires copper, though, damn it. Alright, let's go get some copper. Man, I hope I have enough copper. I swear to God, copper is the most valuable thing in this game. You wouldn't know it. <laughs> Alright, how much does this require? We could build two. Nah, let's not go crazy right now. Let's just build the one. All it takes is one of these babies to get the ball rolling. I'm gonna put it... Let's, uh, let's make this beautiful. It's gonna be in front of the door. Like this. Excellent. Welcome, Howard Captain. All primary systems online. Ah, very nice to be here. All right, can we start making some lockers and whatnot now? Let's see. I'm gonna make a row of wall lockers and a row of freestanding uh, platforms. You're gonna see what they are. Hmm, actually, I have not yet discovered the recipe for the freestanding locker, so we're not gonna build these simple ones, I guess, for now. That is fine. 
All right, now we have three of them. Now I have uh, where to stash my <clears throat> taxes magazines, I guess. All right, with that out of the way, I think it's time, high time we went to this Delta station thing. Quite far away. We've never been like half a kilometer away from home, but I'm guessing that's going to be child's play at some point. Half a kilometer, I'm going to say. Ha, now I'm going to two or three. Actually, hold on to that thought. I don't think we're going to be going that far. This is a very condensed map from what I've read. Like if you've seen my, uh, if you've seen the first Subnautica game, you know this was a very expansive map. You could go like for ages in every direction. In this game, I think they say it's a very condensed map. Like you arrive very fast to wherever you need to go. Like see, we're already halfway there. So I'm not expecting things to be like more than uh, I don't know, one or two kilometers away. Oh, we get these shark things now. Hold on. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm not gonna enable my lights because I do not want this guy to see me. I'm gonna try to sneak around. Man, he's very close and my battery is almost out. Oh, I cannot go this way. Come on. Be fast. <laughs> yes, and we have arrived. It is very cold though. What can we do? We can find a PDA. Fred, I'm not blaming you, but what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah, I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it, and it was just gone. And you think someone stole it? Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure. I'm careful with my tools. I'm sure you are. But you have to admit, there have been a lot of sea truck accidents, and they're rather expensive. You want to follow me on a few runs tomorrow? See what it's like? Conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined. I don't know if you could really understand it from inside your base. That won't be necessary. Thanks for your time. I'll write it up as an accident. Ah, yes, that is continuing the conversation that we saw earlier about Fred, this guy missing out something, I guess in the depths of the sea and the corporate guy that is Emmanuel questioning him of course from the safety of his desk damn Emmanuel <laughs> all right in case let's see we can find some blueprints coffee vending machine yes game over now we are too overpowered <laughs> we got the coffee vending machine yeah I don't think I'm gonna pick that up what else trash can yes oh I want that you would not believe the pain it is to actually discard of things they clutter everything. Disinfected water. What else can we scan? We can scan the lights. Oh, we are almost freezing. Hold on. I need to get quickly back into the water. Believe it or not, that's how I wore myself. 